In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to get a pop-up set up so that you can use it on any of your landing pages. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So if I go to my landing page here, and if I were to exit out of the pop-up that was just up, and I click on the button on the page, a pop-up comes up. So I'm gonna show you how to get this set up. All right, so let's go ahead back to the dashboard, and in order to accomplish this, what we're gonna need to do first is go to Email Pro, go to Forms, and I've shown you exactly how to set up forms already. All right, so you wanna make sure you get your form set up, but what you're looking for in this page is the short code. So you're gonna copy this short code, then you're gonna go over to pages, and you're gonna go down to where it says pop-ups. Once you go to pop-ups, you simply wanna to go to add new. You want to make sure that the drop-down menu under choose template type is pop-up, and then you just, you just want to name it whatever you want it to be called. So in this case, we're just going to name test pop up. Going to name this uh, pop up test pop up. We're going to go to create template. Once we go to create template, we're going to simply go to my templates up at the very top here. And then we're simply going to use buyer pop up and we're going to insert that. Now, once you enter the buyer pop-up, you should see a uh, pop-up form actually come up. You wanna delete this pop-up form that actually shows up, and you should be left with the title as well as your privacy is protected underneath it. What we're gonna do is go over to the search widget here. We're gonna type in uh, short, and we're gonna take the short code widget, and we're going to drop the short code widget into the page. Once we drop the short code widget into the page, you're going to see on the left hand side of the page, you're going to see the uh, a box will pop up, which will allow you to drop your short code in it. So I'm simply going to paste my short code in that box. And as you can see, my button actually pops up. All right. Uh, another thing that you can do if you've invested into the Investor Deal Pro software before April 12th, 2020, then here's one more step that you need to take. Uh, in order to make the button look the way that you want it to look. If you've invested into the software after April 12th, 2020, then you can disregard this next step. But if you've had the software as an original user, one more step that I need you to take is to go up to the, uh, the little grid here on the form code itself, and it says edit section. You're going to click on that. You're going to go over to the left-hand panel, click on advanced, then go down to the very bottom where it says custom CSS and on the training videos tab, you're going to notice this particular form code here. I want you to take this code and, and drop it into this section here. All right. And then I want you to change the width to 95% and I want you to make sure that the width at the bottom where it says form input right here make sure that that width is 100 percent and you should be good to go all right so um make sure you pick up this form code if you need the form code just let us know by submitting a ticket to reieducationacademy.com slash support but uh, again if you've purchased the software during the initial launch you will need this short code if you've purchased after the initial launch uh, which is after April 12th, 2020, then you don't need to do this step. All right, so that's how you uh, set up your pop-up. And then all you need to do is click on publish after the fact, and then your pop-up will be all set. All right, so uh, that's how you set up your pop-ups for your web pages.